So I get the question a lot, how are you doing now? <sighs> Better? I mean, I have this thing in my head. I kind of cut the hairs down a little bit. And it's draining out a lot of the fluids and I'm feeling better and I'm getting used to it. And I'm kind of like cabin fever. Oh my gosh. Um, it's been almost two weeks. It's been 12 days. In two days I go back and they're like, I can go on light limited duty in two more days. And sorry, there's thunder out. I'm sitting in the middle of thunderstorms. Um, but I'm frustrated. Another part of this wonderful battle is, you know, this is a really rare brain disease that happened right after I came home from a deployment with the military and I was on active duty and now I'm a reservist and I'm still reservist, but they're obviously not going to keep me in for very long. And, uh, you know, it, it's been hard working and, and my, my capabilities have been really decreased. And, and it's been hard, you know, paying the bills and, and, and getting by, especially with surgery after surgery. I mean, I had to have a hysterectomy because that was trying to kill me because the tissues in my uterus all of a sudden became murderous. I wonder why. Um, but now, you know, how am I doing? Well, I, I got this letter back from the VA because I've been going through all their loops and things. And they've made some decisions. And here's another fight that, you know, I have to, that I have to go through. Um, and the VA made a decision. Um, uh, my records reflect that I am a veteran of the Gulf War era. I served in the Navy from January 4th, 2010 to June 8th, 2010, and then from June 9th, 2017 to April 6th, 2018. I filed a disability claim on July 27th, 2021, because that's when I started to feel really, really bad. And my service connection for ataxia was denied, hearing loss, because my ears are constantly ringing. It's denied is this service connection part. Uh, the headaches is denied. Service connection for the idiopathic intracranial hypertension is denied. And for some reason, when I filed it, they put in the vision stuff, but I don't need that. Um, wow. Mental health condition, denied. Degenerative joint disease, right shoulder pain, because they put a tetanus shot into my right shoulder. That's denied. Service connection for neck pain denied, and the tinnitus also denied. Um, yeah, great. This is great. So I get to go jumping through all those hoops next. I mean, it does say I do have disabilities. It's determined that I am very much disabled, but there's no service connection. So I don't see on here where they've managed to get a hold of my stuff from Walter Reed. Um, they got my stuff from my, from West Florida and Emerald Coast, from Ascension Medical Group. And of course, from when I went in and got my um, I went in and, and did my things with them, but it's been really hard getting a hold of my um, stuff from Walter Reed. When I was originally seen, I, I filled out all this stuff when I was there. I've been trying to get a hold of them myself. So, somebody tells me I should go inside. But yeah, that's another battle. It's another fun battle. So y'all follow me on that one too. Follow me for the battle of the, the VA things because this all happens right after I got home. Anyway.